Team's on a four-game win streak. We've been opening the show with Talking Ball, presented by Duncan, and we're not changing a thing. Of course, there's been a lot to talk about in Titans country this week. The news on Monday that Derrick Henry needed surgery on his foot, which he had on Tuesday. The Titans having to make some moves to replace him. And John, I, I like what Ryan Tannehill said about it. He said, it's not turning the page. He said, we have to move on. And your staff on the personnel side is constantly ready at moments like this because you know that whether it's Derrick Henry or somebody else, you've always got to have, have a list of guys ready to help you move on. Yeah, we certainly had our share of injuries uh, this year, Mike. And, you know, that's that's the part of our, our job this, this part of the season is to, to have those lists ready. You really got three groups of players. Uh, you've got veterans who aren't on teams that, you know, you can still add those guys to the practice squad. Uh, you've got younger practice squad eligible players, if you will, that aren't on teams. And then you've got players that are on other teams' practice squad that you can go and, and get off of their practice squad. We've done that with Bobby Hart. We've done that with Craig Maven. You know, we look at those lists. We talk about it weekly. Uh, we have our ready list of players that we want to contact, try to get in here for a workout, see if they might fit our football team. So when an injury hits, you don't have to start from scratch. Yeah, you've got to be ready. You know, it's no different than, than the coaches and the game plan throughout the course of the game. You've got to be ready for the next call, you know, no matter what happens. All right, let's talk about Adrian Peterson. Obviously, people know AD very well throughout his career. He's headed to the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Why was Adrian Peterson a good call for the Tennessee Titans at this moment? Uh, well, I mean, he certainly knows how to run a football. He's done it for a long time. He's done it at a high level. You know, he was on one of those lists, and we reached out to him, and he was fired up about the opportunity. We worked him out. He looked great, was in great shape. And, you know, we just felt like he fit our style of football and the way we want to play. And you saw him last December when he played for the Detroit Lions. He played good ball for them last year. He did. I think he ran for almost six, 700 yards for Detroit. Still runs hard, hits the hole hard, uh, tries to finish off runs. So hoping he can bring that here for the Titans. All right, moving forward, as Ryan Tannehill said, I want to go back for just a second and ask you about Indianapolis, the game that you won in overtime to go to six and two on the season. Uh, really an exciting, exciting football game. As you've had a chance to review it without all the emotion, what jumps out to you? Well, we certainly keep them entertaining, Mike, that's for sure. I mean, it seems like every week is another thriller that we put out there for our fans, but we steadied the course there. There were some good plays. There were some plays, you know, turnovers and penalties that, that cost us uh, throughout the course of the game, but we didn't panic. You know, we came to the sideline, we regrouped, we steadied the ship. And we went back out there and we made some good plays. We made some huge plays to give us a chance at the, uh, there at the end to, to win it. Sunday night football this week taking on the Rams. Their new quarterback is Matthew Stafford, who they added from Detroit. He played with Adrian Peterson last year. What has Matthew Stafford added to the Los Angeles offense that has taken them up a step? Yeah, I mean, he's really playing outstanding football. I mean, the line's protecting well for him. McVay does a great job of mixing the run and the pass in there together. He's really good from the pocket. He's really accurate. And he's got some, you know, really potent weapons there to throw to in Woods and Cup, Jefferson, Higby. They're, and they're clicking on all cylinders offensively and I'd say defensively as well. Sunday night, big challenge. Rams are seven and one. You're playing on Sunday night football. It's uh, obviously a, a long trip to the West Coast. Derrick Henry will not be with you, but this ball club just kind of seems to find ways. A lot of grit, a lot of determination. Um, you don't count them out. You just can't count this group out, no matter what. Yeah, we, you know, that's, I mean, that's kind of what we, that's kind of who we are, Mike. You know, we just, we got, a, we got a good group of guys. We talk about finding a way to win. We don't panic, as I alluded to earlier. Our leaders steady the ship when things may look a little bit rocky. They hold each other accountable. When somebody has to step up and do more, they, they do more, we work a little harder. So that when the time and when your number's called, and we say it every single week in the squad meetings, you never know when your number's gonna be called and you're gonna have to go out and help the team win. That's the mindset we try to take each and every week into the game.